My name is Scott Beaver, and I am spending a little time with uh, Tom Ellis in his art studio. Cheers. Welcome. Uh, Tom, I'm just kind of amazed spending a little time in here, you know, looking around at all the different pieces of art. And I just kind of had a couple questions for you since you're, you know, a professional artist. You've been doing this for many years. Um, where are you from? Grew up on a farm in Kansas. And I've been painting and drawing since I was at least four. I remember my grandma, um, she was an artist. And she told me I was going to be an artist when she saw me draw. And sure enough, it turned out that way. Have you always been an artist? Yeah. Um, and a singer. A creative, uh, one way or the other. But uh, I like to show off, I guess. Um, it's a way of getting approval. I suppose, but beyond that, it's just become a lifestyle. The way it's what I do, I can't stop creating. Um, it's an addiction. Which piece would you like to uh, give us the story behind first? Because um, I'm just kind of amazed looking around at all of them. Which one are you curious about? Well, um, this little person? guy up here with the doobie in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, uh, the first in a series uh, called Out of Bounds, and. Uh, I stuck that piece of wood on the top when I first painted the painting and um, realized that it really made sense. It was going out of the boundary of the frame. And then I've, uh, I've added these uh, three-dimensional objects onto it, coming out of it. Um, and it's, uh, it's really what it is. It's just uh, abstract expressionism combined with uh, symbolism and form. Also part of the series is called uh, Scavenger Blues and that one has evolved into this style over here which is another one of the uh, Out of Bounds that. series. My purpose in doing these was to get away from recognizable um, objects or things and to enable the mind of the viewer to use their imagination. Um, I wanted to destroy any references to reality or whatever so that uh, the person has the experience of actually creating something within their own mind. My only criterion is that they have to be beautiful to look at. Hmm. So I'm, I'm very careful with my colors and uh, and shapes and composition. I go to museums frequently and I'll spend hours studying one or two or three paintings by particular artists, um, really trying to capture the essence of how they did, what they did, and why they did. I'll see something across the room in a gallery and it's the one that pulls me in and says, look at me. And the, you know, the closer you get to some of these paintings, the more amazing they become. I love all styles of art. It really doesn't uh, stop with the styles at all. Uh, Francis Bacon is one of my favorite, uh, I think he's one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. Um, he still amazes and confounds me as to how he did what he did. But his paintings uh, hit me viscerally with such an emotional impact that I'm just floored.